the National Assembly then drafted a Bill of Rights for the people. This Declaration of Rights included the freedom of speech, the freedom of the press and the freedom of religion and also protected citizens from being falsely arrested. But when the National Assembly presented their new reforms along with the Declaration of Rights to the King, he refused to acknowledge them. This greatly angered the people of France who wanted to see a new era in freedom and equality. These people strongly demanded that the king not only accept these new laws but also to move to Paris with his family. The resistance from these people was so strong that King Louis XVI was forced to move to Paris in 1780. Now the National Assembly started setting up a new government including writing a constitution. By 1791, this constitution was ready. It kept the monarchy but limited its royal powers. It also established a legislature which would be elected by the people. This new constitution granted equal rights to all men who could vote only if they paid a tax. In order to pay off the national debts, lands owned by the church were confiscated and sold. Children, peace was still far from France. In 1791, King Louis XVI, fearing for the lives of himself and his family, attempted to flee to Austria from Paris, but was captured and imprisoned on his way. In 1792, France declared war on Austria because the French feared that Austria would attempt to reinstate King Louis XVI on the throne. Prussia and Sardinia also joined Austria in this war. Though this war had devastating effects on France, it still somehow won the war. National Assembly, which was now known as National Convention, met in Paris and decided to completely do away with the monarchy and establish a republic. They also granted the right to vote to all men, regardless of whether they could pay their taxes or not. In 1792, King Louis XVI was tried before the National Convention where he was found guilty of having conspired against the freedom of the nation. And in January 1793, he was put to death by the gulletin. You must be wondering what kind of a device it was. Well, it was a device to kill people in public by chopping off their heads. Thank God such devices are not used anywhere anymore. Now we shall study the after effects of this revolution. Monarchs throughout Europe were concerned about the events that had taken place in France. They thought that now people will overthrow them as well. They all got together and attacked France. This war made life very difficult in France. Various political parties in the parliament were of different opinions regarding the situation and the young government was on the verge of falling apart. 